Hi, this is you know Kevin Camden, and this is my purge testimony, like the full thing, because you know I've learned even more things. You know, <sighs> learning. You know, let me begin by just saying what I've learned. I've learned that. Well, let me let me save that for the end. Basically, this is this is this is what happened, and this is uh, I already described in my previous video how you know I had some issues with porn, and I took care of that, and it was through planting the seed and things like that. So, but let me go back. Let me go a little bit back and say that I had always watched anime, and anime is kind of anime is satanic, basically. It has pedophilia. It has, you know, it, it just has in little hints. It doesn't really do it fully, but it, it has pedophilia. So, and but it has major violence. So I was coming off. So whenever I turned, um, whenever I turned, because uh, all, okay, from the age of 13, I think, or 10 or 20, my only sin was fornication. And I didn't even see it as a sin until I met this guy named the 13th son. And when I met him, I met him online. And, you know, I saw his videos on YouTube. And he said, you know, don't, he basically hinted to not, you know, fornicate. But he had some major evil because of some of the things he did. And I'll be describing that later. And well, he did. He does cocaine, so and he and he and he's been promoting it, which is why I had to leave Twitter and things like that. And basically, so um, what I'm gonna say next is, so I had to go back. I had to go back in time. Well, well, I have to. Well, okay. So basically, um. So once I met the 13th son and things like that, I started getting into nature. He got me into nature. He's the first guy that got me into nature. So I thank him for that. So he got me into nature. So that was that was good. And um, so I started going to nature and I started, you know, once, you know, I got into nature, you know, one day and, you know, the bees, I, a swarm of bees came and things like that. And people have always shared, well, I'm not really going to share that, but, um, basically, um, once I got into nature, I got, I started work, you know, I had just finished writing my book, Life, Venice, and Love, the story of a God, and it's basically about me, but, um, well, yeah, but I had, I had to humble myself because I had, um, I think I was, I think I had a big, well, I was, I had to humble myself and I had to have faith in, in a higher power, in a higher, um, and, but I knew about angels and in the book I, I wrote, the angel said not to write the book. So already in the book, I knew, I knew that I shouldn't have written the book, but I still wrote it. <laughs> it was like, it was like a book inside a book inside a book. So Basically, the thirteen son he he he, did, he talked a lot about triangles and things like that. So that got me into triangles, and and that's the first thing that got me into because he talked about the pyramid. And I just watched the, uh, Daniel's first video about like the pyramids. Daniel kind of hinted, Angel Gabriel kind of hinted that the pyramids. I, and I always, the pyramids are kind of dumb, you know, basically, because that space could be for nature, and nature is is supreme. Nature is supreme. All, all day, nature supreme. So, basically, after that, I met, uh, I was started working. And when I worked, I was busy. So, that was good, you know. I worked for Babylon for a while. I was busy. It kept me busy. And it kept me from, but before that, my dad kicked me out of the house. Because Twitter was getting me mad. Because... I, I kept seeing people talk about like the shootings and I was like, it just got me mad. And one day I got mad at my dad and I didn't honor my father or my mother, my father, or my mother. And this lesson is big. Remember, honor your father and your mother. I'm, I'm going to get back to that later. So 
and I saw all these people. I was seeing all these people with all random names on in 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 Twitter, and I'm gonna get back into like names and things like that, and why you should stick to your name, and what I learned. So basically, after that, on Twitter, I met this guy named uh, Javari, and uh, basically, uh, in in Twitter, his name was Javari. He like I texted him. I texted on Twitter, "Hey, if anybody's looking for work." I'm I'm here. I can hire you. So I did that, and I hired him, and we worked together, and uh, and he introduced me to cocaine. So the first time we did cocaine a little bit, I was kind of like, I wasn't really seeing anything. It was just a little bit. So I was I was kind of like not really wanting to do it, but I did it anyways. And the one night we would we did it together. We did a lot, and I wanted to run away. Like, and I, it, like, it was, it was like time froze and like, like time literally would freeze in my perception and I would go and I w- we would, we would literally skip through dimensions, like through me. And basically what I, okay. Oh man. I wanted to run away. So I walked, I walked away and he, he kept shouting, he kept shouting, come back, Kevin, come back. And I, I just wanted to get out of there. But he's, he, at the end of the day, he convinced me to come back because of my car, <laughs> because of my car so so because of my car i was like if if you he was like if you don't come back your ta- your car is gonna get towed and i was like dang okay so i came back because of my car so that's an imp- well yeah so basically i came back and uh you know i came back and i left this place and when i left i was unable to go to work the next day because I just kept like I was able to go to work that day because I was just in a, in some zone dream world thing where time kept skipping. I I am a hundred percent serious. Like time kept skipping. So basically, basically what happened was um, I I didn't answer the call of my uh, of my uh, of my leader. Like the, he we had this person who was, who was stationed. He would call us. And we would get stationed to go to work to places. This was a carpet cleaning company, so carpet cleaning, you know, it's, you know, water. And before that, I had worked on, uh, I had worked on Waterburger, you know, you know, cooking things like that, cooking meat things like that. And uh, in the middle of that, I worked in, I worked in PJ Tour Superstore, a golf store, where I uh, arranged clothes, things like that. And um, so I have, I have some experience working for Babylon. But the carpet cleaning company is the most important. I, I went inside homes and I cleaned carpets. So after that, whoo, man, I can't really tell you even what happened. But but what I can tell you <laughs> is many things happened. So that that next day, um, we went, well, we did, well, we did some more. So uh, basically there was one time where we did it where, um, I was kind of like, I was kind of like, I was in, I was sitting, well, first we had gone off, because this was in his backyard, and first we had gone off and started watching the stars, and he started looking at the stars, and I was like, and I started wondering what, like, how the stars looked like to him. <laughs> Again, this was, this is looking at, and Daniel said the stars, something about the stars, like, you're not supposed to, look. and I was kind of new, you're not really supposed to look at the stars or the sun or things like that, and people do sun gazing, you're really supposed to just live. And this, uh, I'm going to explain more I know, about that, you know. Uh, so basically, um, so I was sitting on the grass and I was, and I was, I was just playing with my stomach kind of. And I, and I was saying, <laughs> I said, well, I hope I don't, I don't hurt you or something like that. And he took it off like, oh, well, he took it off and he started threatening me. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so he threatened me and, and, and. He started threatening me, oh, I'm going to do this to you, I'm going to do that to you, and I'm going to do this and that and that and this and that, and I'm going to uh, I'm, I'm going to punch you, I'm going to beat you up, I'm going to do all these things, and I really didn't I really didn't take it. Like I, th- I just thought it was just like, you know, he was just saying these things, and this made me realize that, we're, okay, right now looking back at this, words have a lot of power, so you need to be careful. So if somebody says something, whoa, you need to be careful, you need to like take that person seriously, and you need to like uh, get away from that person. Cause what happened, what ended up happening is he started, you know, when I, when I first, I left that day and I left and it was all foggy, it was fog everywhere. And I was scared and, you know, things like that. 
and I went back home and I thought I thought I wasn't gonna make it but in my mind I kept giving praise and thanks you know to you know hi I was uh, at that time it was God but I give, I kept giving praise and thanks and I made it through that fog I I swear I promise like I thought I thought I thought that I was gonna get trapped in that fog and go to some other like dimension or go to some other like place or it was <laughs> it was it was very it was weird it was a weird day so basically when we uh when I came uh Another day when we did it some more, like, I, okay, so time skip. No, so let me just do a time skip. So we would do some, we would do some. One day, I, one day it was the oddest day. Like the sun was shining and weirdly and everything. And I had just come and I had lost my job again. So uh, I lost my carpet cleaning job that day. Well, we started working together and um, basically uh, we would work together and he, w- he would always dress like kind of like bad and things like that. But Anyhow, we would uh, work together and um, go to home to home, do, you know, cocaine, things like that. And uh, I never really gave much thought to it. And and at one point, I lost a job because I kind of stole money. I didn't really, st- well, I did steal money. Well, that was the first time ever that I actually stolen from somebody because I had stolen from the company because uh, um, I, I I got money. Even before then, I, I was stealing from the company. So I'm not going to say that he caused me to do it, but I got caught stealing with him. So back then, I didn't get caught stealing, but I got caught stealing with him, and the, the company got mad and things. And um, so basically, we, I got fired. So when I got fired, we, we would go to nature, and it was it was fine. We would be in nature. We'd be by, this, by the sea. We'd go fishing and things like that. And it was really fine. It was fun, you know, things like that. And it wasn't about cocaine, but then I started getting money again, and uh, and I think it was it was that weird day, that weird day, I had my first bad thought ever. I, it was like it was like a weird, and I kind of took out it like a like weird, cause that's the first time I ever had a thought in my head. Back then, I didn't have thoughts. I would just I would just live out like like just live, and like I would just live, and I I know I know how I know how it was back then. <laughs> I would just live like kind of like um kind of like a not 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 a robot. <laughs> I would just live <laughs> and I I would just do my things like that. <laughs> so, I had my first bad thought and I was like I was like I was kind of like what? I, it was kind of new and like I was like what? And um because you know, things like that. And basically uh what happened was when we did, you know, when we did the co- cocaine I would have a bad thought, and spiritually, that energy would go and attack him. Things like, like that. So, it was. <laughs> I'm not gonna put any cause to what it was. Back then, I was wearing a turban and things like that, and um, I don't wear a turban anymore because water is my hair covering, and things like that. And I don't, and I don't even feel the need to. But basically, what happened was. It was, it was, it was, um, well, we would do it and I would have a bad thought and it would attack him. And then, and then he would retaliate by punching me and he would punch. Oh man, it it would get bloody. It would get bloody. Like it would get very bloody. And, and, uh, and I would bleed and, and this happens (laughs) and I would come back home all bloody, all beat up my head, mostly my head, (laughs) my head all beat up and things like that. And, and, you know, I would come home head beat up and then I would heal and then I would go back to him because 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 like later on because see I had faith in love you know brother brotherly love even though I was doing something wrong I knew it was my fault but I kind of knew it wasn't my fault because the things that I was doing and it I was only projecting what was being projected to me so that's I mean that's that's how I can describe it so um Basically, and I, I forgive him for you know beating me him up, and uh, basically what happened was, uh, he so I I would that th- those next days I would come back to him, and then I would say hey I'm sorry man like uh, I'm sorry for what I did and things like that, and he would I mean like he would never apo- he, he didn't apologize at first he would just you know accept it you know come back we would just go through our business, and then it would happen again I would have another you know bad thought and then you know send you know. <laughs> send energy his way things like that and he would like it would affect him and he would you know beat me up and things like that it was bloody bloody blood blood lots of blood me, me getting beaten up and uh oh yeah the first day that I happened 
where I got beat up. I went to jail, you know, because the cop, because I was driving and I and I couldn't really see anything, because I was my head was my head was not my head was not on my hair, <laughs> my head was not on my neck. So I was driving, I was driving, and the cops caught me, and there was cocaine, and I went to jail and things like that. And when I went, and but thankfully I got my mom bailed me out. And uh, when I came back, when I came back outside jail. I went back to him, you know, that's, that's when I went back to him. So because of that, I got introduced. Well, I was in jail for a little bit, but I wasn't, I was never supposed to be in jail. That's, that's one of the places where I wasn't called to be in. Now there was another place that I was called to be in <laughs> that I'll describe later. So basically, uh, later on I would, um, well, I have to ask for forgiveness because I, <laughs> but you know, I did, I did have a bad thought right now, but thinking, thinking about like things, you know, that happened. But um, basically, what happens? Uh, yeah. So, I would I would go. Um, so the next so the next thing that happened was uh, more more fights. We get into more fights, and at a certain point, he started he started asking for forgiveness for what he did and if he did anything wrong and things like that. And it got really emotional, and it got really and uh, and at one point. At one point, like the scenery changed, like we was, uh, like, and like there would be crows, and he would give me a hug and things like that. Say, "Man, you're my brother," and things like that. But at the end of the day, like, he always, you know, <laughs> punched me. <laughs> but uh, at a certain point, like, he got even better at, you know, at having love and things like that. And he got better at that. And we we didn't we didn't really, like, punch each other anymore. And uh, he didn't really punch me. I would never do anything. Even before I knew scripture, I knew never to hit back my enemy. I knew always to take that slap on the cheek and just, you know, keep keep doing what I'm keep doing. But what I had to learn, and this is a big lesson right here. I have to learn, like, this is why I want to be immortal. Like, I want to live for God. So, because uh, I want to live, like, I want to live for others. Now, some say, oh, you know, I want to die for others. But what I say, I want to live for others. And I want others to live for me. That's what I learned. One of the one of the main lessons that I learned, and that's why I had I had to realize, cause cause at a certain point, when I was doing it, I was like, I realized it was bad because I never had those thoughts before I when I didn't do it, so it had to be bad. So I had to so in order for me to stop having these thoughts, and this also had I started playing with names. So I would at first I would have my name be like uh, kept. Kevin Bay, you know, that was the first thing. So Kevin Bay, because if one of the rules of that community was to change your name, your last name to Bay, Day, or Al. So this is, this is the, like, and this is, and this, you know, you must honor your father and your mother. The name that they give you should be the name that you carry. Unless you're like an angel in the Bible, like, you know, the angel Gabriel, then you can go by that name. But even him, the name that is written on his wall is his, you know, full name. Because you must go by the name that your mother and father gave you. Honor your mother and your father. So basically that was something that was not good. So what happened what happened was afterwards I would play with my name cuz my name is Kevin Camden. There's an ink in there. So I would play with my names like, "Oh, okay, I'm I'm Ink. I'm Ink from the beginning." <laughs> something like that. And I started and 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 I started I started playing with words cuz like I was trying to not have bad thoughts. So I was like, "Okay, so maybe some of the letters are bad or something like that." So I thought some of the letters were bad. Some of the letters too. I thought like H, you know, E, you know, O, because you know I would look at I would look at how they were formed and things like that. I thought O was bad because it was a circle and things like that. <laughs> because I thought like it it would not like uh, it didn't wasn't like a complete flow of energy and things like that. And um, and I would just I would just form ways to like uh, circumnavigate the fact that I I had a bad. <laughs> Well, the fact that I was I was doing my actions were bad, you know, so things like that. So what I so but as I was doing that, I would change my name. I would change my name pretty constantly. I I would every time I had like a big revelation. So the first I changed my name to uh to Ink. You know, well, my name has ink in it, you know, as I said, you know, so uh this was this I I realized that I I want to change my name to Inform Nega King. So, cause I wanted to inform people, uh, cause I wanted to go out there, oh, inform them of what I had learned from the bad. <laughs> and so, 
So, and I realized it was an ink. That made an ink. So, and I had an ink in my name. I was like, hmm, I have an ink in my name. And I was like, hmm, so am I ink? Am I like, am I like ink from the beginning? Or like, <laughs> this is what I thought. So, so I was like, okay, okay, cool. And then, and then, uh, uh, and I, I never, I never really called myself anything other than, you know, I never really said, I was just like, you know, put my name like that. So then afterwards, when, the next step was when I learned about like letters. So when I learned about letters and things like that, how, and th- all this information I learned was just, it was just extra information. It wasn't really like any, like, um, really, it was just information from like the bad. So, um, basically like I would name myself, when can you figure out in Kautama? Cause like I would type in a weird way and I would talk weird and I wouldn't talk with like certain vowels and things like that. And that's how I would talk. Cause I was trying to circumnavigate the fact that I was doing something bad. I, I knew something was wrong. So I thought the words were wrong. So I was like, okay. So next I thought, <laughs> next I thought the, um, next I was like, okay, I'm not going to talk. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm not going to talk at all. <laughs> this was, this was one like later on, or this was whenever I, I started, you know, and then I started singing. <laughs> it's all funny, but uh, but basically, uh, what I okay. So later on, I met I met this chick from uh, from Hollywood. So I started asking for things. I started because I, I was like I was like, dang. So um, in my mind, I wanted to ask for um, this was recently, like uh, like six months ago. Okay, no, no. Let, let me talk about what happened. What happened? Uh, when once I, I I started walking, right? So I would walk and I would walk and I, because I started, I, I was searching. I was searching for some, I was searching for myself. I was searching for uh, some, I was searching for like the truth. So at one point I was like, okay, so there was this girl on Twitter and her name was, uh, I mean, her name was, you know, cat something, something cat. And, uh, basically I thought I could walk. She would live in Arizona. I'm in Texas. I thought I could walk from Texas to Arizona. So I walk, I walk for a while. I walk, I walk, I walk. And, and basically, <laughs> before then I'd already gone to a mental hospital. <laughs> the father had to call me to go to a mental hospital. So I, so I uh, hire so that I would understand how crazy, people, like how, how, how it is in there. And I would understand how like it works and things like that. Cause I had to see it for myself. So, I opened it, I knocked her door of this woman and I turned back around and then, then there were, uh, I saw, I saw the laws. I saw, I saw cops and they brought me to a mental hospital. This was, I think this was the second time. One of the first times I was, I was walking, I was walking and, and I saw, I saw, um, I was, I thought I was like Romeo and Juliet thing. I was looking for this chick and like, I was always looking for somebody. (laughs) <laughs> and uh basically uh basically i f- i didn't find her but uh but she called the cops or something because i was loud and and they brought me well my mom my mom and dad came so that's what happened so but the but the one that i'm gonna describe the one where i went to the mental hospital is uh i'm gonna describe kind of like how it was in there how it was how it was like like what i what i kind of like learned in there and i learned like it was it was just strange in there. It was like I'm just this is my testimony of like the hardships that I went through, and this is just me just opening up. And I went through so much in there. It was kind of crazy, like like it, it was it was really just crazy. That's all. That's all it really was. So because I was because see I was already doing something crazy. When you're doing something crazy, you're gonna go through crazy things. So the cause the cause okay. Insanity happens because you're in a situation that is n- that is not in order so since i was doing cocaine things like that learning things like that and this is what he said this is what actually he said if you back then remember the first time that i went to uh that i did cocaine with him he said if you leave you're gonna go to a mental hospital like they're gonna catch you things like that i was like what and that and i actually ended up going to a mental hospital like he said so regardless of whether I had left or not left, <laughs> but it was because I was doing something, cr- I was doing something in, not in order. That's why I became insane. And it's just words to describe things, but, but really, 
it was even it was even worse than because it was sick it was sickness and and while i was doing it i would have thoughts of i would have thoughts of uh homosexual thoughts and things like that and like uh like uh like uh i'll be I'll, I'll think oh i'm gay or something like that like i would think that and he would say and he would he would just he would just uh he would he would just he would just like i mean like just punch me basically and he would just refuse and punch me yeah so basically uh but those thoughts weren't my they weren't really my thoughts they were thoughts from the father of lies because what i was doing was a lie because dust isn't supposed to go through your nose breath is the breath of life which is breathing from you know higher so basically um basically what happened was um i sinned even even now i still sin but you know i'm i'm going through uh but i don't i don't sin like that i don't i don't sin like uh like that i just it's just like you know little things and um like little little bad thoughts basically but it's, it's it's actually it's actually like decreased like i don't i don't even i don't even like it's like because because right now i realize it was all honor your mother and your father and if you honor your mother and your father you're gonna keep the name that they give you and you're gonna use that name to do to do business in this world if you're doing business or you know to you're gonna keep that name you're gonna, you're gonna cherish it because it's from your mother and your father if you love your if you love your mother and your father in this realm you're gonna love your heavenly mother and father simple so um so and at, at a certain point i thought i was and at the end of at the end of my sequence of being aparraincha because every time i would change my name i would take upon the characteristics of that name so when I was at the end of that sequence, I thought I thought I was gonna start appearing in people's dreams or something, because <laughs> it was like <laughs> and I would always I would always play with words, and but I would always notice certain things like Apavarincha has vein in it, so I was like, hmm. So it was really apara vein incha or apara vein cha or something like that, but it had vein. So I was very vain back then. I was I was um, I guess I was because it because my name had it in there, <laughs> so. So basically, um, that's why you need to be careful what names you pick. Like, that's why it's best to pick the name of your father that your mother and your father gave you because they gave you that name in love. And if you change your name based on certain circumstances, how you feel, you're not like you might be feeling very weird. So you might get put yourself as in a weird name. And the last name that I chose was Akamavazaru. And this name, I was walking. Oh man. This was the biggest time I'd ever, I learned, okay, okay, okay. Let me first describe the mental hospital experience. So when I was there, I was there to study. I wasn't there to like, cause I had already been, cause I knew I had to get money. Okay. I, I knew I had to stay there. Okay. I didn't know, but, but I knew kind of, I stayed in there for a long time. I stayed in there for six months. So the first day it was kind of, it was normal. <laughs> I had another. I almost did. So the first day, it was. Uh, I mean, like I, I almost had a you know bad thought. Basically, that's why I, that happened like that. So um, I'm 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 gonna be more honest. And um, basically, when I was in there, a lot of things happened. I was. Uh, yeah, like uh, some some things happened. Like uh, for example. So they said, they said I touched a girl's breast, but I don't, I didn't remember doing that. And I, I think, I think they made it up. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Cause, but some, sometimes when I was in there, cause they were, they fed us, they fed me drugs. Who man drug, it was terrible. Like in, to make you asleep, to fall, to make you fall asleep. And that's basically all this realm. That's basically what the fallen angels want you to do. And that's why they mess up. That's why they, that's why they play with like the, the, feed you bad food can, like things like that or you know uh candy things like that because they want you they want to twist your dna they want to change your dna once your dna has changed this is what cocaine does to you once your dna has changed then the fallen angel spirits can get into your mind listen carefully this is very important so it's not really so to the vegans to whatever to whatever you are it's not really about whether or not you eat meats or you eat vegetables or fruits, it's about whether or not it's natural and if that animal has eaten natural products. Because if the fallen angels have messed around with the products of the fruit, 
then it's going to mess with your DNA and it's going to allow those fallen angel spirits in it's going to allow them to enter more your body more easily especially things like drugs so when i was in there i i would black out and i would like i would i would for a second i thought i was iron man or things like that i would go through stories i would go i would go through like little things in my mind little worlds but i was still in the real world but in my mind i would go through worlds and things like that and and for, uh, it was just it was just it was just it was a mess and uh basically uh I'm not really gonna go through. I'm gonna go through everything because <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be like what? <laughs> okay, so while I was in there, I wrote I wrote this I wrote this girl's name. This is gonna be a long one. I I wrote this girl's name called uh, Anna. I wrote a name called Anna, and later on I would I would meet her. Well, I just wrote Anna. Let's just let's just let's just stick to that. So in my mind, Anna was like something for like divine or something. Like I would just write Anna. So basically, um, I came, I came to, you know, I met, I met Savannah and I thought it was her, but she was very, from my learned from her, she was very promiscuous. She had, well, not promiscuous. Yeah, she was promiscuous. She had sex with, um, some, somebody else and things like that. Her, you know, uh, even though she had a husband and things like that. And, but you know, mm, that's not me, but you know, yeah, it, I, people would just tell me stuff sometimes. And, um, basically, um, yeah, when I was little, like when I was, you know, little, we would move a lot of schools. We would move, like we would move schools a lot. And uh, and when and when when I was uh, like, we moved schools three times. So I didn't really have time to, you know, when I did have time, it was during like sophomore. It was during uh, freshman sophomore, and during that period, I was very popular in high school. And when we moved to, and I was I was very happy. And this was when I wrote Timothy the Tiger, you know. And uh, I was very happy. And when we switched school, that broke my heart. So, uh, yeah. But that also made me be able to go into information. And I got into triangles. I got into flat earth. I got into everything. Everything that you, well, almost everything. At the end, I did get into basically everything. <laughs> I've been through everything, man. I've been through all the, all the information you can think of, of astrology, things like that. But I recently realized that, learned from the, but the book of Enoch that astrology is from the fallen angels. That's why I stopped dealing with that. So basically, um, he would, he would, um, so when I went to the mental hospital, uh, the, okay. I went there and I was new. I didn't really know what it was like. So I took their drugs. I took their drugs. I had, I had, I didn't know any better. I signed their paperwork. I played I played their I played their games because at the moment at the time I was I was uh I was in nature. I had a lot of like I could actually see the future in a sense well I could see what people were about to say before they said it. Like like 4 seconds before they said it, I could see I could see I could see what they were about to say. This was one of the abilities that I had. And I lost that ability when I went to the mental hospital. But while I was in there, I played with other abilities. Kind of like uh, I'm I'm a hundred percent serious. Like like this like I'm a, I'm a hundred percent serious. Like in perception, like this was what happened. Like well, mystery mystery is what happened. So so I'm 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 gonna keep it mysterious because 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 see like you you can either think it didn't happen or you know whatever you want to think, but in my in in me, like inside me. I actually saw these things happen. I was giving like little keys to people and like, there would be like little, like I would be a sugar night. Like, cause if you sugar, you're a sugar night, things like that. It was just funny little things like that. But, uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to talk into, I'm not going to talk about any of the other things that are just out there, like way out there. Cause, cause in my, in, in me, I only deal with, I only deal with angels and the elect and things like that. So anything outside of that, unless unless I'm unless I'm uh, unless I'm uh, exposing Satan, the father of lies. So, and I'm gonna, okay. So basically, uh, so after I left the hospital, I would have like I came back to nature and things. Like that. I was like, I was on, I was drugged. I came back to nature because they give terrible drugs in there. 
I, I met interesting people that I wanted to connect with and I wanted to stay, I wanted to stay like connect with them and things like that. But the father somehow made it that I lost the, all the numbers. I, I lost my book with all their numbers. So I lost that. And, um, when I lost that, well, I had to start from scratch. So I started from scratch, but I would always, I would always, I, I went back to, I went back to Javar. I went back to him. So when I went back to him, we did the same things, but it was different. That's when I started being, uh, that's when I was, uh, when can you figure out in Katama? Like, it was different. I would, I would kind of like be bad, but like be bad and good at the same time. So it was better, but it was still bad. So at a certain point, I started praying like, because uh, because you have to realize that the 13th son, he, he asks, he wants an island. He wants he wants there to be an island where he lives with all his, you know, people. He thinks it's going to, like, rise from the ocean or something like that. I don't know. But, um, so I was, I started doing, I started asking for islands. You know, I started asking. And I wanted to be surrounded by a lot of girls. You know, because, you know, because in my mind, I was, I was always debating whether or not it's, like, one queen or many queens. That's just how it was in my mind. But... I realized in the end when I started asking for a lot of queens, I got this queen, but she would. <sighs> I'm not gonna say her name because she did some crazy things. <laughs> I say the names because she didn't really affect me like that. But she, it was more like she came in and came out. <laughs> but um, basically, she would like masturbate next to me, <laughs> like <laughs> it was crazy. And but I wouldn't do anything like out like during inside the car. Like and I, but I wouldn't do anything. Like I would just watch, and I would just cause, cause I, cause I allowed the situation. I made, I made the situation happen basically, cause I, I prayed for it. I prayed for a woman to show up, and it made me, it made me, it made me just kind of like, um, we were close, but she went to a mental hospital too, and I went there to visit her. And even though, even though I thought to myself, I would never go back to a mental hospital, I went to visit her, and this is why I, I brought back the mental hospital in my reality. So what I learned is that. I had I had I had to go I have to go to a place where there's like no mental hospital was like cuz 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 it's 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 already like like I I kind of already attracted because I like I already went there like sometimes you attract things that since you when you when you've been to somewhere sometimes you attract those things again so I have to move far from this place that's why I have to move to Hawaii so um basically but the good thing about me going to mental hospital is I get paid I get paid um a social security check because I'm crazy <laughs> because they think I'm <laughs> they think I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm more I'm more than any words. I'm more than any like any word thinkable. I go by Kevin Latosh Camden. That's my name and Latosh means the hard way. I had to learn from the hard path. I had to go to certain places where like some people like go there and they don't come back. For example, when 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 I went uh when I went when when we did it that one time in Fort Worth you know uh, cocaine uh me and Javari uh and before before that me and me and the queen like uh she she basically wanted me she she called me a prophet she was like she thought I was a prophet because of the things I said you know and I used to wear a feather you know that's when I was a Pavarincha. that was my second to last name I wore a feather on my turban and I now you know. And, you know, I was vain. So, because I was vain because I wanted, I wanted a lot. I wanted, I wanted like a lot. And I asked for a lot. But I wasn't wise. I didn't have, I didn't have that wisdom. And uh, I had, I had the understanding of, of words and things and things like that. But I was still doing, I was still, I was still dealing with the father of lies and his products and his fake GMO products, and I don't care what you think. It, it, no matter what you think, if you think cocaine is raw, or whatever. Nah, man, cocaine is cocaine is modified because they had to modify it. Like to get it to that powdery form, it had to be modified. Like a hundred percent modified. Yeah, <laughs> you can't be a fool out here. You have to realize that they that they mess with things. They're, 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 what they try to do is they try to get superpowers from uh from uh herbs. From from Mother Earth's uh, herbs, they they try to do that in the in the eighties, and uh, basically it like it failed. They, they didn't weren't able to. Like you can only get superpowers from two things, two two things. Well, it's just one thing actually, a higher. 
That's that's he's the one who gives like that's the only place where you can get superpowers. You can't get it from herbs. You uh, you you can't even get it from water <laughs> if you're not, if you're not in the right mind. Now, if you're chasing water, like maybe well, nah, because fish don't have superpowers. You can only get it from Ahaya. So basically, um, so then I went um, I went to. Yeah, so I would I would I would go I would go there and, and I would go there and basically and uh, so I told her I told her because I realized like you know cocaine it's Cain it's from Cain's kingdom the father of lies again Cain so Cain is where cocaine comes from and what did what did Cain do Cain killed his brother Abel so the whole situation between Cain and Abel I had to go through that personally so. But I wasn't, I mean, like, I used to think, you know, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you, like, 100% honest with you. Well, I kind of thought, for a second there, I kind of thought, because I, I always thought I was many people. I, I thought I was Krishna or things like that. I thought I was, I thought I was many people. But I kind of I kinda thought I was Cain for a second, because cause, cause I had, because I had, you know, I had, hate, well, I had hated my brother in my mind, you know, things like that. And, uh. And, uh, but the fact of the matter is, it was, it was the actual drug that was making me do that. It was the, it was the, um, cause it, cause, cause, cause God, cause see, God, higher children have love when they're pure, the most pure, they have, all they have is love. So what causes them to act out, you know, school, go out and shoot people is the food. So, cause, cause remember Mark, remember how my video said, everything is pure uh like i think it was paul one of the one of the teachings of paul or mark it says everything is pure like uh, like um basically something like that so basically um i started i started um so i went back and 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 did those things with him and and uh well, I think that's about it. No, it's, it's not it. But I'm, I've said a lot, and I've, I'm seeing the time. And uh, so basically, uh, I went back there. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna make this like part one, of you know, I'm gonna make this part one, and I'm gonna have a part two because I, I'm gonna see if this can like actually like load up because this is a very long one. So yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm I'm gonna do part two, and part two I'm gonna do it like uh, I'm gonna do the next like part of what happened, and this next part is what happened like uh these few months, like what I learned and things like that. Cause who man, now when I when people tell me things, I accept it. I accept it a hundred percent. I believe a hundred percent. Cause Javari he taught he told me it was John the Baptist. And I was like, huh. He said I was somebody from the Bible. Or I was somebody. At first he thought, like, he said I was a lot he was Elijah. And I was Elisha. And it kind of makes sense that I was Elisha because because in the Bible, Elisha, like, he heals water. And I like water a lot. And I'm gonna go to water. So it makes so when he said it was John the Baptist, I really th he really did baptize me, even though we did cocaine and things like that. And I'm sure in the past we didn't we like it was different type of baptism. But this day and age he got tricked. John the Baptist got tricked. If that's if that's who he really is, John the Baptist, because he called himself John the Baptist. He got tricked into doing baptism by Satan's fallen angels through cocaine. That's not baptism. Baptism is either through water or a higher. Those are the two things. A higher through fire from a higher, not not the fire. Oh, well, I'm not gonna go into that. F fire through a higher, or or water. Those are the only two things that can. Do baptism, a higher fire, and Christ, Christ Yahushua water. Those are the only two things that can baptize that can baptize you. And so, um, yeah. And uh, so I'm gonna do part two, uh, probably later. You know, I'm I'm just gonna do it later. So yeah, you know that's that's about it. Let me, let me see if I remember anything else.
um, yeah, so it was, it was, you know, I went through many names when I was, uh, I'm not even going to go to like what I learned because it's, it's all, I learned extra things. The main things that I, the main important things is that when I saw Gabriel, the angel Gabriel, the main important thing is when I saw him, I decided to start over from scratch. And that's helped me out so much. And I decided to scratch out Akama Vizari, that name that I had, and just start from my name that my mother and father gave me and start from scratch. And then from then on, Gabriel's going to tell me who I am. <laughs> and it's going to go like that. I kind of already know who I am based on the people that I met. But, but you know, Gabriel can even tell me even more of who I am. You know? Yeah. So, have a blissful day. May Ahaya be with you, and I expect great things from you, great, amazing things from you. Much love. Very love, because love varies infinitely in kind directions.